Hello there! And welcome to our online service for children. This week we're going to be looking at the story of the prodigal son as told by Jesus. Well, we're going to find out very soon. Without a shore, your grace is a lighthouse, an open door. You deserve the highest praise. Your hand from the valleys and shaped the earth. Your cross took my life and gave it worth. You deserve the highest praise. The highest praise. The highest praise. The highest praise, the highest praise, the highest praise you deserve. The highest praise in my queen, you are there. Solid rock, firm foundation. You're the true living water, my daily bread. You're the first and the last. When worries gather round me. Calm my soul, we're sinning to a crater. You filled the hole, you deserve the highest praise. When guilt tied about me, you set me free. When sorrow came upon me, you heard my plea. You deserve the highest praise. The highest praise. The highest praise you deserve. The highest praise, the highest praise, the highest praise, you deserve the highest praise, the highest praise, the highest praise in my life, the highest praise. Christ was mine, the cost of blame. You took my sin, my guilt, my shame. And I will give my praise to you. Christ was mine, the cost of blame. You took my sin, my guilt, my shame. And I will give my praise. I will give my praise to you, King Jesus. Your love is an ocean without a shore. Your grace is a lighthouse, an open door. You deserve the highest praise. Your hand from the valleys and shaped the earth. Your cross took my life and gave it worth. The highest praise There was a man that had two sons. The younger son told his father that he wanted his part of the inheritance. So the father divided what he had and 
day part two this song. A couple days later, the younger son packed up his belongings and travelled to a country far away. He and he read what he had with extravagance with a he parted spent time with women and raised his money after he had spent all the, all the money that his father had given him when we came to the land. This means there was a food orchard and now he doesn't have money or food take care of himself. He went to work for someone in that country and he was sent into the field to feed the pig. He was so hungry he would have gladly eaten the pig food. But no one gave him any food. He called to his son, my father has servants and they have bread to spare and I am hungry. He decided he would go home to his father and tell him father I sinned against heaven. And before you, I am not even worth to be on your side. He made the journey back to his father when he was far away. His father saw him and had sympathy for him. His father ran and kissed him. He told his father that he has seen and I am not worth to be called your son. But the father told his servant to bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. He told them to bring the fatted calf and let us eat and be happy. My son was dead and now he is I was lost and now he is found. But for all the and was in the field. As he came to the house, he heard the music. And a servant what was going on. He told him that his brother had returned home. He is safe and sound and your father is having a salvation. He was angry. He wouldn't go in the house. So his father came out to see him and be with him. He told his father that he has stayed home and helped him and his father hasn't ever had a salvation for him and his friend. But as soon as my brother comes back, who has wait all for his money now? You serve a great meal for him. His father told him that he always there for him and everything that he had would be his. But it is right, right. to be happy because his brother was dead and is now alive. He was lost and now he is found. Well, in that story, uh, the father gave the son a really warm welcome, didn't he? So this week our craft is going to be to make 
your own welcome home sign so that you can remember the prodigal son every time you come home. Now, to make this part, you're going to need some paper, some colouring pens, a pair of scissors, and something round, like it could be a bowl or something like that, to draw around. Now, be aware, um, you might need parents' help for this, or maybe think of getting a plastic bowl or a bowl made of metal, and there's no chance that you're gonna break it by accident, which is always good news, isn't it? Um, so, first thing you're gonna do, take your card, place your bowl over your card, and draw a circle around it. Next, we, or an adult maybe, are gonna write welcome home in our best writing on the, in the middle of the circle. And now comes the fun part, we're gonna decorate it. We're going to cut out our circle, and you might want to ask an adult's help for this. And finally, um, ask an adult to gently curl over your piece of card and make a little slit just at the top. And this will allow you to hang up your welcome sign on a pin on the door. Now Amelia has a box of ribbons. I'm going to take out one of them. Let's have a look at the string. Now, this is something I'd like to explain to you something with a piece of string. So, let's have a look. Now I want you to imagine that this string goes on forever and ever and ever. It loops around the world, it goes around the moon, it goes to Saturn, it goes across the universe, and it just keeps on going. And at the end of this string, is just this little blue section here. Now this blue section represents our life here on Earth. Whilst we're on Earth, we do lots of things. Let's say at the beginning, we were a baby here and maybe we grow up a little bit, we have a teenager, or it's a bit of a rough patch maybe, or maybe it's a good one, and then we go on to adulthood, maybe we get a job, and maybe we're saving really, really hard. This last bit, so that this last bit's really, really fun, and everything's good, we get to travel, all sorts of things. But then the thing is, at the end of our life, we're gonna spend the rest of eternity somewhere, aren't we? And it's either gonna be with God in heaven, or away from God in hell. And the rest of our life, it just goes on and on and on and on. Now what I want you to do is to think about this part of your life. I want you to think, can you live this part of your life in light of the rest of your life? Awesome God. Thank you that you are our Father in heaven. Thank you that even when we are lost, Amen. we are not lost to you. Amen. 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 I pray for those feeling far away from you right now, that you would draw near to them and give them comfort, that you would help them to feel close to you again. Amen. Amen. We pray for all those people who are feeling upset because of the effects of lockdown. We pray that they will be comforted by you. Amen. Amen. We also pray for anyone who is self-isolating and again pray that they would feel your love. Amen. Amen. 
We pray for our national and local leaders. We pray for your wisdom and discernment to make, for them to make important decisions. Amen. Amen. We pray for our teachers who are working so hard to ensure schools stay open. May you provide them with energy and enthusiasm. Amen. 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 We lift all, all these prayers, prayers to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for watching everyone. Yeah, and one question. Do you need to come back to Father God? Because if so, there's a party with your name on it. Wash me, Lord, big me clean on your grace, Lord, I lean in your mercy, Lord, renew me, cleanse, restore me, I have wronged